Arizona is such a great place to live if you're a racist. I'm just kidding. What a, what a way to start a video. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the pros and cons of living in Phoenix, Arizona. I've been a native for all my life. 28 years of life here. And of course I happen to make a living selling homes here for the past eight years. So this video is intended for those who are maybe looking to move to Phoenix, Arizona and want some more information, or maybe you're looking to leave and you're just, you're on your wits end and this is your last video you're gonna watch before you leave. Either way, let's get to the first pro of living in Phoenix, Arizona. The first one is it's just quite simply it's it's so massive and it has you know a flavor for everyone. Phoenix itself is the major city that it's in but around it there's dozens of cities with different price ranges, different criteria, different uh vibes it's it's really crazy like if you want to go hiking you want to live near a mountain where well, we have like five or six mountains you can hike here around phoenix for example if you're more outdoorsy type and you know like to go hiking and whatnot there's like five or six parts of town that are near a mountain or two hours north there's flagstaff that's a snowy area you can go hike or an hour north is sedona with the red rocks if you like to go fishing in a lake well we have two or three lakes in the area if you're more looking for the suburban family life literally all these towns around phoenix including uh, some areas of phoenix to have these like suburban feels of like these newer houses built 10 20 years ago as good school districts and of course we have our classic old brick homes as well throughout so literally the reason why i think it's so attractive for so many people is because there's such variety here as someone who's been glowing up for the past eight years my wife and i started off with a small but humble home in phoenix not the best area but we worked our way up to get a suburban house you know in the city of uh Tolleson. and slowly now we have worked our way to a good city here on the west valley that has a great school district and it's all been within a 10 to 15 mile radius of each other so there's really so much room to grow here like there's mansions like millions of dollars in scottsdale and on the camelback mountain you don't ever have to leave now it sounds like kind of cultish but it's the truth once you're in here you can basically just move town to town and live the rest of your life here now the con uh, probably biggest con in phoenix is for three months of the year you're just useless why well it's so unbearably hot that you know have you ever felt the kind of heat where you step out you just go that dry massive heat that's what phoenix says for three months of the year so for three or four months of the year you're literally going to live indoors if you have to go out you're going to run to your car cry because the freaking leather seats are just going to burn you turn on the ac drive to where you need to go to run to the air conditioned area <laughs> run back to your car go home and run to your air conditioned house there's no one at the parks it's like a zombie apocalypse no one is outside if you're going to go jog make sure you do it early morning or late evening where it's not really hot anymore but it's not really cold so but once again it's only three or four months of the year every other part of the year is, is amazing our winters aren't that cold every time of the year is just perfect weather but it's just those three months where we're like uh we get god's wrath for defying him by building a freaking city in the middle of the desert my second pro is going to be our low cost of living now granted it has grown a lot more expensive over the past year or two, but even so, it's still really affordable here. I will be making a video about this here that's popping up now. If it's not popping up, then just subscribe. You'll get notified when it comes out about the cost of living. But anywho, it is still affordable to live here. Even to this day, when I tell somebody, hey, our taxes are told to $1,500, they go, what, a month? No. A year like less than two thousand dollars a year is still pretty freaking sweet and because of that our monthly payments tend to be a lot lower for a decent house here you might pay 13 to 1600 dollars as a starter home and in my opinion not not necessarily as a real estate agent but someone who's you know glowed up as i say two thousand plus means you're already living in a decent area with a great school district and whatnot whereas in other areas in, in the country two thousand dollars is just your your entry level stuff right so to me, it's still very affordable to live here. And yes, it's growing more and more expensive, but that leads to our, our con, our second con is there's a lot of people moving here. You kind of missed the boat a little bit. I'll be honest with you. If you would have moved here two, three years ago when no one was moving here, it would have been great. But people are just not realizing due to the whole things that happened in the past two years that, hey, I don't wanna live in my state no more. And right now, Phoenix is one of those hot areas. We're competing against with the, like, like parts of Texas right now. But Phoenix, for a lot of people, is that haven. You know, there's a lot of tech companies moving here. You can sell your house from where you're at and use that money to come here. And there's so much opportunity here. And so still, still so much growth to happen here that it's quite exciting. And unfortunately, if you do decide to come down here, you're going to be part of that wave, which means you're going to be competing with other folks like you. Is it going to last forever? Maybe not. But the sooner you get here, the better, in my opinion. And that's, that's not me being a realtor. That's just honest is our truth a lot of people are moving here with higher earning income and because of that well things are going to get expensive and our third and final pro is we have a lot of quick trips quick trips is the best gas station in the country i don't care where you're at 
you got nothing on Quick Trip. I'm kidding. No, seriously, our third pro is really, um, I think it's really easy to travel here. Like if it's so massive here, like I, as someone who was raised and born in the West Valley, I've never really went to the East Valley until I got a job and I was a real estate agent, right? So I could have lived my whole entire life just living in the West Valley and go to the East Valley. So it's so massive here. And really the pro is it's so easy to, to travel. Like our freeway system, it does get clogged occasionally, you know, every morning or certain times, but Phoenix is actively working to build different freeways throughout the state to make it more less California-y, right? We just finished a freeway right now, I believe it was a 202, we finished like a year, two years ago, but that just created another way from the West Valley and East Valley to connect. And I trust in the Phoenix's ability to continue to grow that further and further, especially with all the growth happening. And last but not least, similar to what the second con was and, and kind of congruent with the last two pros, is it's going to get to the point in about year two or three years from now where it's gonna be one of those cities that's just gonna to be too expensive to live in for a, a single person working household. So right now, you can maybe still squeeze in there, but eventually it'll get to a point where average price point, price, price point will be 350 to 400,000. And that means if you're a single person working household, you're not gonna be able to buy. It's only gonna be for high earners or two person working household. So unfortunately that's the biggest con is we're heading to that direction where we're gonna be like a Salt Lake City or like a Austin, Texas, that it's just more expensive to live in. So um, if you are unfortunately in that first time home buyer bracket, you know, maybe qualifying up to 250, 300, very soon you're going to be uh, unfortunately not in a position to buy here in Phoenix unless you get extremely lucky. So those are my pros and cons. What else do you guys wanna know about Phoenix? Let me know in the comments below. Also heads up, I do have another real estate channel. Uh, it's a lot bigger than this. It helps you just with general home buying questions. So go check it out. If you are a fan there, go comment below saying you're coming from Arizona Home Goals. I'll give you a shout out. I'll give you a kiss. Arizona out.